So today we're going to be doing the Derek Jeter challenge, kind of bouncing off the Yogi Berra challenge. Derek Jeter didn't win as many rings, but today we're going to be doing four World Series wins in five seasons. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So may, maybe it'll go a little bit better than the Yogi Berra challenge. If you missed it, you got to go check out that one. That video is up here. It was man it would that was a tough challenge but this one this one might be a little bit easier four world series in five seasons let's get into it so of course if you do enjoy hit that like button if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button and of course in the comments section let me know some crazy other ideas you got if you enjoyed today's video all that good stuff so we're just gonna close our eyes three two one boom we are going to be the rockies today fantasy draft is on Oh, uh, today we'll do ignore budgets, but then I will I will still focus on the budget. Like I'll actually care about the budget. I just want other teams to be able to just go and get whoever they want. And let's see here. Let's go. I think that's it. I think that's everything. Fantasy draft on. Oh, we gotta do five years, so contracts are gonna be off. Boom. There we go. Thirteenth pick. Perfect. That's actually not too bad of a pick. We're just gonna simulate the draft, see what we get. Marcus Semyon, I don't know. Like, he's having a great season in real life. Completely proved, proved me wrong. I honestly didn't think he was going to be able to put up another season like he did. And it's insane. 40, 42, 43 home runs right now. Absolutely insane. So let's go take a look at this team here. We've got Musgrove. Pitching definitely needs some help. Yeah, definitely needs some help. If Musgrove's our best pitcher and then it drops down to 77 after that, we're in a little bit of trouble. Next up, our bullpen. You know what? Karen Shack, Britain probably needs to go, but like to pair for a season or two. But again, I definitely think our pitching is gonna need some some help. Definitely need some trades. Catchers are okay. We've got Francisco Alvarez potentially to help us out. Tristan Casas at first as our only first baseman. That's not good. We obviously have Marcus Semien. Matt Chapman, okay, so not bad there. Willie Adamas, ooh, our infield's looking nice. JD Martinez, we've got Corey Dickerson, George Springer, okay, and then Brian De La Cruz, Harold Ramirez. Not, not too bad offensively. Who's available as a free agent? Anybody here? No, okay, so since we're trying to win a World Series, let's go, yeah, let's go boost this pitching up because this, this is not good enough. This isn't gonna win us any games. And looking at the lineup, I think we could make a couple changes. I think we could go with the new first baseman. I think Tristan Casas for the future, but for right now, definitely not. And then I also think maybe, maybe a right fielder, but I'm not, but I'm not too worried. Mostly I'm focused on the pitching. So David Peterson maybe is like a five. Merrill Kelly maybe is like a, a four or five. So maybe like four or five, one. So I need like a two and a three. Who could I get for a two and a three that's gonna do just business? All right, John Means, we all know he does well. Who can I give you guys? I'm gonna give you John Hicks, and then you can also have Umberto Mejia. We got John Means in the team, so there's one, two. I just need a, a three. Who's gonna be a three for us? We'll, we'll try Justin Dunn, and also Corbin. Actually, Corbin Martin might be kind of nice. We'll try Ricky Venasco this time. And who is going to be our three? I kind of want someone a little a little decent someone that can like almost be a one for us you know like a Syndergaard Ooh, that's not close enough all right we're gonna need someone Andy Lara I'm not gonna use him might as well give it to him and then Noah's gonna be like potentially our, our two or three that's actually pretty good I I oh wow that actually is huge for us I mean look at flip those two that that's good I'm okay with that and then Corbin Martin or Tanner Scott Let's go Corbin Martin. We'll send down Tanner Scott. We just need that bullpen. That bullpen's looking no bueno. It's it's not it's not looking good at all. So I need a lefty. A lefty. Aaron Loop. Is he gonna be good? He looks like he could be good for a season. Uh, dude, like he's been pretty decent in real life too. So maybe we give him a shot. Is there anybody, any other lefties? Chafin doesn't look too bad. I'm trying to think of other lefties we could... Brad Hand has been atrocious in real life. You know what? Aaron Loop actually looks pretty decent. He might not hold the rating for the for a couple years, but you know what? We'll do that trade right there. So one, two, three. I don't I don't I haven't had good luck with Rex Brothers, so I gotta trade him too. This will be our other lefty. We'll go Tim Hill. We'll give you Let's see where we got. We got like way too many of these. So there's that. Tim Hill's in the team. This is actually going way too easily right now. So 
we've got our, our closer our setup guy three middle relief so i need another middle relief guy let's get rid of him and let's go with jonathan holder maybe just because it shouldn't be that hard to trade for him and then i'll give you kevin merrill and I'm, that might actually be it like i feel like we'll send down aj ramos we'll put loop there we'll send down tanner scott too and we're already looking pretty good like this team's looking really good already like look at that uh we'll leave to pair there for the season i mean pitching's looking great already like really strong lineup i said i wanted oh I, I do want a first baseman let's go get a first baseman and i think that might be it for season one i feel like we've got a pretty good squad developing already like there's not too much that needed to be done with this team so you know what i kind of want brandon belt he's he just crushes it in franchise I, it's insane he's unbelievable same thing with like reese hoskins and jared walsh but you usually have to wait like a season or two you know what let's go cj crumb and I will give them Rodolfo Castro just always takes forever or like just doesn't ever pan out. So let's do that. Boom. CJ Crone's in the team. And now I can send down Tristan Casas, which means we need to sign two players or call two players up, which I guess I could call up Elvis Andrew. Oh, we have Elvis Andrews. Why? Why do we have Elvis Andrews? Get that contract out of here. That is just way too much money to be holding on to. And we'll go like, ooh, who could I even get? I just want like a one-year deal. Someone that like can just ride the bench for a season, help us out a little bit, be decent. Nico Goodrum's not a bad one. Taylor Wall's not a bad one. Zach Shore. What else we got going on here? Freddie Galvis. Freddie Galvis is multi-year though. I don't want that. I let Ms. Diaz. Yeah, yeah, give me that. I'll give you Tanner Morris just because I'm not going to use him and mickey mcdonald there we go so that should give us 25 guys now we just sign a free agent we're good to go mm, you know what i'll sign pools for a season yeah get him into the team let's get him on the squad let's win him one more world series before he he rides off into the sunset and enjoys retirement so yeah that might be the season or the team for the season i should say move him up a little bit maybe put him there move brian de la cruz down a little bit go like that you know what i'm liking it i'm liking it i'm liking it this is this is kind of a nice team right field could be a little bit better i'm not too sure who i could get with the players that we have but looking at our budget i'm feeling super confident right we're gonna have so much money to work with look at it, it goes from 137 to 47 so almost 100 million just off the books like that after this season we do have to sign a couple players that is a little worrisome but for right now i feel like this should be a team to win a world series we're ranked first we've got some really good players let's get into it 97 to 65 so obviously going pretty well right the division we're taking on the cubs and we'll take a look at the award winners real quick we got garrett cole stanton with 51 home runs wow jeez DeGrom and Cole winning uh, Cy Young Awards. Austin Riley and Juan Soto with a batting title. Reliever of the Year went to Graven and Floro. Taylor Walls. Interesting. And then Akil Badu. Okay, okay. Let's see how our pitching did. Looks like nobody was sent down. Oh, Aaron Loop was sent down. Wow, he got killed on the rating. I know he's got C potential, but dang really okay well tanner scott came up didn't pitch at all corbin martin was actually really good uh, pr pretty good i would say pretty good probably gonna stay our long reliever unless we can get somebody else that's like kind of cheap tapera i'm not gonna bring back he just always falls in rating even though he's 33 years old i don't know what it is but once like he gets one good season and then after that it's it's over next up we got tim hill he was good holder fantastic karen check struggled a little bit so i might give him another year and then matt barnes was fantastic we're gonna have to try to sign him back musgrove pretty good pretty good he is going down though so i i guess we look for a new starter uh Syndergaard was good john means was fantastic merrill kelly was good and then david peterson was good as well so realistically like what one or two starters depending on if we bring back merrill kelly or not and then you look at the lineup i think the only person that got sent down was pools where is he 42 games 100 at bats was pretty disappointing but you look at the rest of the team and 
Corey Dickerson off the bench was really good. Outside of that, really wasn't anything special. Marcus Semien, pretty good. 31 home runs, 35 doubles. He's still going up. I'm going to try to re-sign him. Adamas was, was, was okay. JD Martinez was okay as well. I'm going to try to trade him before the offseason or during the offseason. Basically use that 22 mil to try to bring back Semien. We've got George Springer who's going down as well. What is going on? CJ Crone's going down. De La Cruz was okay. Harold Ramirez was pretty disappointing. Elias Diaz. And then Matt Chapman. I'm I'm changing this team up offensively. Like we're, we're probably not going to win a World Series here. I just don't have a good feeling about it. I mean, we, we move on to the next round. We got David Peterson there. But like, I don't know, man. I just... That's not good to see. Next up, we got the next game against the Marlins. And boom. Oh, it comes down to Syndergaard. We lose. Yep. There's that. So we got to win out four straight World Series as the Red Sox defeat the Marlins. I okay. All right. So let's do this. Let's go two years here. We'll do. He wants. All right. We'll do that. That's fine. We'll give him what he wants. 31 mil. Matt Barnes. Two years as well. How much does he want? A lot. He wants a lot of money. Holy cow. Two years, 18 mil. Noah, let's go three years. We'll bump that up a little bit too. Ah, it's so much money, man. We still have 100 mil to play with though. So like, I'm not too worried about it. I think the rest can go. Maybe Corey Dickerson can come back for a season. Five mil is nothing. We can work with that. And yeah, the rest can go. Let's let's get this moving. Boom. Oop, one more, one more, one more. All right, offseason time, free agency. Like I said, I want to trade JD Martinez. That contract's gross. We need someone else that knows how to hit a baseball. You know what? Really, I can get Yelich? Deal. Not even a hesitation at all. Give me Christian Yelich. Yes. Oh, okay, so I did. I saved like, what, five mil? This year, we got 100 mil to play with. Let's see what we can get. Okay, so. Oh, Musgrove's on arbitration, so we have him for one more season. Okay, so actually. I still. I thought. I, do I want to keep Musgrove? Because though that's not a good. That's not a good sign. Um, I definitely need to bring in some bullpen help. So there's that. And then lineup wise, I do want to try. I, I kind of want to trade Chapman. Is he on arbitration this year? He is. So we'll trade him during the year. S Springer. Ooh, let's trade Springer because for some reason he's just falling off the face of the earth very, very quickly. You can tell Marte just signed. He can be our leadoff guy. And you can have any prospect that I have. Who do I have signed? Nobody. Like, no one signed to a, a long-term deal. Parker Meadows. That gets us close. Do we have anybody else? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Am I going to have to trade one of my newly drafted players? I don't want to trade Michael Bass. Frank Cedeno, that gets the deal done. I'm not going to use him. I'm not. His hitting stats are too low. So for Cattell Marte, get in the team. All right. That saves us some money too. So there's our leadoff hitter in Cattell Marte. That's actually big. He slots in right there. Christian Yelich goes there. This was first base. We, we sign a first baseman. And then we trade for a third baseman. We're, we're looking good. Brandon Belt might be the guy I try to sign. I don't know yet. We're going to have to see what we can find. But so far, so good. All right. I'm picking up Rafael Devers. The only person I thought about getting outside of that was Moncada. His contract isn't too bad. And I guess we could pick him up. Oh, Devers, man. I'm kind of told. Oh, Austin Riley was really good, too. Actually, let's get Austin Riley. Who else am I going to have to get rid of? Bryce Terang? I don't think I could get... Austin Riley, man, he is really, okay, may, may, actually, I might be able to, we'll do that, and then if I throw in, solid, wow, I'm not going to be able to get, okay, so Austin Riley's off the table, Austin Riley's off the table, but I can get Devers, Machado, no, Bregman, maybe, what about Arenado, not too far off, it is a big contract, it does kind of leave us a little short changed for some money but it's nolan arenado man all right so what we're let me let me see what were his numbers we've got 284 345 with the 818 ops like those are pretty good numbers those are pretty good numbers what about the other two that we were looking at moncada had 
kind of similar numbers. Kind of similar numbers. And then Devers, a little bit lower. A little bit lower. More home runs, though. Do we go Devers or Moncada, then? Because I just I just feel like Arenado's too much money, right? For the, for the production in MLB The Show. So, it's either Moncada or Devers. I got to flip a coin. I don't really know who. Um... I, I I don't know. Uh, do I okay? Do I need a left or switch hitter or righty? What do we need here? Or what? I guess what do we need in the lineup? I guess we could use. Ah, we're kind of we're kind of good on like just hitting everything pretty well. Let's see, power versus righties, power versus righties, power versus righties. Maybe a little. May, maybe maybe Moncada. Maybe Moncada. Just the switch hitter gives us a little bit of. Power from both, or a little bit of offense from both sides of the uh, the the plate, and then I will give you him, and I will also give you a pitcher that I'm not going to use in Carlos Vargas. There we go. There's that trade. I also wanted to trade for a starter because I didn't get one in the off season because there were just I just didn't like any of the options. So next up on the list of acquisitions, let's go out and not get Alcantara. I get Alcantara too much. Can I get Garrett Cole? If I can get Garrett Cole, it's game over. Like, we're winning it all. I will give you him. That's that's too easy to trade for Garrett Cole like that, man. Come on. Like, look at look at that now. Look at look at that now. Musgrove, he let me down last year. Let's trade him too. We're we're just constantly making moves, wheeling and dealing, trying to build the best team possible. So now I actually kind of have to pay attention to the money situation because that pickup <laughs> kind of wiped out a lot of our budget. So Logan Webb, I've been getting him a lot. So let's switch that up. Let's go to, what about Ian Anderson? How did he do? Four and 13. His, his numbers look pretty good. Not too far off on him. Mm, let's go Ryan Yarbrough. A little, kind of almost the same age. Ah, oh, man, is he going to fall off? We'll, we'll test the waters. We'll test the waters with him. We'll go like that. There's the trade there. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Bullpen is a little shaky. Not going to lie. It, it doesn't look the best at all. That is that is a little worrisome. Oh, first base. I didn't get a first baseman. I might rock with Rowdy Telez, though. It sounds crazy. I know. But we're going to do it. And then Brian De La Cruz doesn't hold his rating. So I'm going to find a new right fielder. And that's going to be the last move just the right fielder and we're good to go after that so we are gonna go and get we are gonna go and get somehow i'm gonna make this work trust me it, it's not gonna be easy but we're gonna do it okay so i traded my two a potential guys there so what if i give you bryce terang that actually gets me pretty close steven davis ah, man that's like my top prospect that i drafted am i gonna use tristan costas i don't think i am i don't think i'm gonna be able to get Soto. Oh, we're so close. Ooh, what about... Oh, we're so close. Okay, Soto's off the table. We can't get him. What about Fran Mill? Fran Mill didn't do too well last year. Joey Gallo is meh. Uh, Mookie Betts is too much money. I just need someone that hits home runs. That's, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to score runs. Cause chaos. End everyone's careers. So... Not gonna get him either. Okay. Um, Kyle Tucker, he has been insane for us lately in rebuilds. Could be the guy to get. Bryce Harper's just gonna be too much money. I do also have to be kind of smart with the money that we're spending because we don't have a lot of it. Fran Mill makes the most sense. Fran Mill makes the most sense, and I wouldn't have to trade a lot to get him. I probably would only have to trade like Trey Sweeney. Oh, yeah, get in the team. Get in the team. You can also have. You can also have. Kyle Friedrichs. Yeah, there it is. All right, Fran Mills and the team. Let me sort let me let me sort this lineup out. All right, so here's the squad. Cole Syndergaard, John Means, Peterson, Yarbrough. We've got Martin Myers through the rule five draft. I'm not 100 percent sold on this pick. Maybe it'll work out for us. Karen Shack, Vince Velasquez. His numbers don't like his attributes don't look bad. I have a feeling I'm gonna get pretty disappointed by him. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trade him. I'm going to trade him. I, I just don't have a... You know when that feeling's there where you're like, man, this is... It just can't end well. That That's what I'm feeling right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anybody for him. Ooh, are we in trouble? We might be... Ooh, can I get Kopech? Yo, Kopech could be nice. Um, We are going to take... 
who, who we're gonna take we are gonna take you can give i just want somebody anybody really to be honest it doesn't have to be someone crazy good it doesn't have to be someone crazy bad it can just 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 give me a picture andrew chafin i don't want that contract i want can i get sledgers we're pretty close um uh, you can have him that doesn't get the deal done what about him all right sledgers is in the team not too much different but maybe it'll work out for us let's get that there sledgers holder kirby Yates, one year deal and then matt barnes we brought him back i extended synagogue's contract we saw that i extended somebody else's contract too who did i extend Ooh, who did i extend who did i extend who did I... oh Mar marte can tell marte boom there it is that's the deal that i extended i knew i extended someone's contract i just couldn't remember who it was but yeah look at that look at that pitching look at this lineup chef's kiss beautiful oh gorgeous budget um it is a little tight in the off season i'm not gonna lie but we don't really need to go out and get anybody besides some bullpen help maybe a couple fringe guys to play the bench for us outside of that i'm liking this team this team's gross look at that first first fifth first again i don't care about defense and speed so season two let's do it again we won the division 93 and 69 taking on the winner of the wild card and we got some league leaders garrett cole and Cattell Marte, two pretty good pickups for us and awards garrett cole cy young and a silver slugger mike trout we just got rid of him what what of course of course he pops off when we trade him away why wouldn't that be the case right it makes perfect sense of course it always happens that way what else do we got going on here? Matt Barnes was in the mix for reliever of the year. Rookie of the year went to Jose Devers and Robbie Rice. Looks like a pretty good pitcher. I mean, a rookie too, 78 overall. Ooh, what a pickup for them. All right, so we've got Zach Thompson pitched in seven innings, got kind of shelled. Corbin Martin pitched only 30 innings. Not what you want to see. Uh, Mike Myers was okay. Karen Chack was, again, kind of disappointing. Might trade him for somebody else. Sledgers was good. Holder was fantastic. So was Kirby Yates. Unbelievable. And then Matt Barnes was really good as well. So we've got him for one more year. Probably going to keep him. Garrett Cole. Just insane. Syndergaard right behind him. Killing it. Same with John Means. Ugh. So we're going to flip those two for the postseason. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the pitching. Fran Mill. Yikes. We're still going to call him up. But like, woo, we might we might have to change it up. We might not be using Fran Mill this <laughs> for the postseason. Uh, Bryce Terang, he might he might be really good. He might be our backup next season, maybe even a starter next year. But for right now, I need I need the Franimal in the lineup because what happens when he becomes the Franimal this postseason and everything? How bad he was this year? We forget about it. First off, Elias Diaz, 100 games, 25 home runs, and he is not starting. Oh, only versus lefties. Okay, okay, okay. I see what the situation is. All right, so our bench. That's all right. I honestly still would like Diaz starting versus lefties if he's popping off that much. Like, it just, it makes the most sense, right? Cattell Marte, really good season. Almost a 400 on base percentage. Semyon, not as good, but still fairly good. And we've got him for, what, one more season? I'll take that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Christian Yelich was fantastic. Not as many home runs, but still pretty good numbers. Fran Mill sucked. Moncada was fantastic, almost a 400 or over a 400 on base percentage. Adamus was a lot better than last year. And like I gave him hate last year, he still had a 350 on base percentage. Just his OPS was a little low. Harold Ramirez, man. Diaz was pretty good for a catcher. I might have to start picking him up more often. He does suck versus lefties, though. I mean holy cow 27 contact yikes uh telez not fantastic not fantastic and then back to the top of the lineup all right let's do it postseason time please please don't do this to me please don't do this to me not again like garrett cole you gotta you gotta get the win here thank goodness all right next up so it's gonna be him him flip those two yeah, like that. Perfect. All right. Game one should be Syndergaard. We lose. Back-to-back -back games? Are you kidding me? Come on, Syndergaard. No, 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 no. I cannot win a World Series to save my life. What is going... I got to... The Cubs... The Cubs beat me last year too, right? 
Oh no, it was the Marlins that beat me last year. But I, I still want to see what's going on with these teams. So the Marlins beat me last year. They didn't have Brandon Belt last year. Oh, they did have Brandon Belt last year. Okay. But like, I, the team's good, but it's not fantastic. And then, let's see, the Cubs? What do the Cubs have? Horner, Ke they do have Trout, they do have Devers. But like, what is going, why can't I win? Like that, I just, I don't get it. Their pitching is good. I'll give them, the pitching looks fantastic. But like, what is going on? We won, we won, we won. Like, look at that. And then we don't, we only score one run. And then we... All right, I got to win at least the, the last three. I got to. I can't, I can't go out like this. It's just, this, the streak is getting a little bit unbearable. The... All right. Kirby Yates, he's just getting too old. I got to pass. Uh, Corbin Martin didn't really pitch that much this year, so I'm still going to bring him back. Aledemis Diaz is continuing to go down. You know what? He's going down, but give me give me one more season of Diaz here, and he'll kill it. Uh, Corey Dickerson got sent down, even though he had a an okay year. It just didn't look like he... One more year. Honestly, for a, a backup bat, four mil isn't that bad. And I picked up Shed Long, but I'm going to decline it. We'll, we'll see what we can do in the offseason. So, oops. Yeah. Oh, I simmed way too far. Simmed way too far. Um, good thing I didn't sim, like, too far into the the next uh, part of the offseason. So, I'm just going to bring back everybody. We don't even have that much money to work with. Only 60 mil. I might not even be able to bring back everybody as is. Let me see here. Is there anybody I can get rid of? Maybe Karen Jack, but it doesn't really open up too much money. So, let's just bring everybody back and run it back. All right, season three, we got to turn this around. Like things are getting things are getting bad here. So we're gonna rock like this. We've got the bullpen looking like this. Uh, the only change was Brebbia was signed on a, a one year deal. He had a really good year in 100 innings last season. So let's give him a shot. We're gonna rock like that. I, I just don't know about Karen Check. Like he did improve, but like a little bit, not by too much. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, we've got the lineup. You guys can see this is what we've got going on here. Tristan Casas, I'm going to give him a shot at DH. I want to see how he does. And then I brought in Jake Cronenworth on a $3 million deal. So we'll see how he does. He had a really good season as well last year. And you guys can kind of see Paven Smith was brought in. And our bench looks bench looks good. Bench looks really good. I actually like it. And then Elias Diaz, I realize, doesn't hit lefties well. So I guess we rock with Alfaro for the lefties just to play the best situation possible. I do have some other names that like I've been drafting that potentially could help us out. We already had Francisco Alvarez, but like Michael Bass or Michael Bass looks really good. Only C potential though. So he probably only gets up to like 78 at the highest 79. We have John Spain. And then we've also got Steven Davis, who looks pretty good also. So we've got a couple names that could start to come up soon that I've been kind of hiding in, you know, kind of behind the scenes situation. But yeah, that's the team. I'm not going to make any trades. I really like the squad. I feel like we could win here. 97 and 65. Again, winner of the division taking on the wild card. We all know what that means. We all know what's going to happen to me. Again, Ketel Marte and Garrett Cole. I also saw Marcus Semin was there as well. Looking at the awards, we've got Matt Barnes, Delivery Man of the Year, Cy Young Award to Syndergaard this time, beating out Garrett Cole. There, that's the word. Uh, Devers winning MVP. Fran Mill, there we go, Fran Mill, there we go. But Devers, we could have had Devers, could have had Devers. And uh, let's see what else we got going on here. So Syndergaard won Cy Young over Garrett Cole. Um, um, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about that one, MLB. Uh, Will Smith is fantastic. Austin Riley. Even Chris Taylor's killing it. Good for him. What else we got going on? Matt Barnes one's reliever of the year. One's reliever of the year. One reliever of the year. You've got Carmine Hernandez and Julio Rodriguez winning rookie of the year with 35 homers. Dang. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look at our team. See how everything's going on over here in the pitching department. Corbin Martin's up to an 80. Okay. All right. I like seeing those numbers. Zach Thompson didn't pitch at all. Mike Myers, not as good as last year, but he is improving still a little bit, but I might look to replace him. Karen Jack's gone. I'm trading him as soon as possible. We've got Sledgers, who was good. 
Brebia, not as good as I would have hoped. That's a little disappointing. Holder, and then of course, Matt Barnes. I honestly didn't expect him to go up in rating, or I would have offered him that third year on the contract. He's been fantastic, so we'll try to bring him back, but I might not be able to just because of the money situation. But I'm really happy with the way the pitching went, except for David Peterson, who I might trade just to get a different pitcher in, just to kind of strengthen the team even more. All right, who got sent down? Paven Smith. Not a bad season. Not a great season, but not a bad season. Corey Dickerson got sent down as well. Okay, so Rowdy Telez off the bench. All right, this guy is my bench. He's my bench guy, 100%. He's my bench guy, easily. Jorge Alfaro had a good year. Bryce Terang off the bench. Harold Ramirez needs to go. And then let's go take a look at our starters here. Cattell Marte, not as good as last year, but still decent, decent, I would say. Semien, 35 home runs. Killed it. Yelich, still really good. Fran Mill, bounce back season. Love to see it. Moncada, again, a really good year. Just the home run numbers aren't crazy. You got Adamas, who's good. Tristan Casas, I will take that all year. All year. Woohoo. Elias Diaz, not as good as he was last year. We'll look to find a catcher. And Jake Cronenworth. Yikes. Yikes. Um. So maybe we... Maybe Cronenworth doesn't start, and we just we give Tristan Casas the, the free roam in the postseason. We're going to do it. All right, let's see how it goes. Again, the Cubs. We, we can't lose again to the Cubs. We're going to lose again to the Cubs. The Cubs, they, they just know. We... <laughs> I can't... I don't... I don't understand. There's... What... It, huh? What? I don't, what do I have to do? Do I have to like offer my firstborn to the devil to make sure I win a world series? What is going on? I am 0 for 13 in my last 13. That is unbelievable. Um, like how is that possible? How? How is that possible? David Peterson, what's this? For two mil, we'll take it. We'll trade him. Like, that's really what's going to happen. Uh, let's see. Holder, I do want back for sure. Uh, we'll give him a player option. Eight and a half is a lot of money, though. Alfaro, you know what? Let's give him a shot. Let's give him a shot. Eight mil. All right, we'll bump it up. We'll give him a shot. If not, we could probably trade him and get something in return. And I'm afraid Semyon's going to fall off this year. So I'm going to say no to Semyon. But I'm going to go with these three and then let the rest go. I know Semyon's been fantastic for us. And it doesn't make sense to let him walk. I'm just afraid he's going to fall off this year. So let's get let's get Pineda added. Just so we don't lose him. Someone doesn't take him. We'll add the left fielder O'Grady as well. Anybody else? I don't think so. Arbitration. Probably everybody. And then contracts, I got to be smart. I doubt I have a lot of money. So what's this second base? Second base, we could probably go out there and get someone pretty good. Alfaro slots in perfectly. We already have a backup catcher. And then we'll trade for a pitcher, possibly sign a free agent reliever. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. But I did say second base. Ooh, second base might be a little, a little tough to find somebody. We might have to just make a trade, which hasn't been difficult for us at all actually Moncada to second can we bring in Devers with the money that we have is there someone that we could trade to open up some budget here um Alfaro nine mils a lot for Alfaro same thing with eight and a half for Holder mm, we'll see I might be able to work some magic here all right I'm getting Alec Manoa from the blue nope the Giants Obviously, he's part of the Blue Jays organization. He's been really good. I'm going to trade him for Alfaro and Peterson. I want the deal done. Peterson just hasn't been cutting it for us. I'm just going to go out and sign a catcher for the season. We're just going to take Kurt Casale. Sure, he's my guy. Actually, you know what? Let's let's bring back the homie Diaz. Let's get him into the team. And he's being greedy. He's being greedy. Mm, five mil is my last offer. All right, sorry, bud. You, you ruined it. You can have, We can get Ryan Jeffers instead. Boom, there he is. He's in the team. We should have 26 men now. Perfect. All right. Let's talk about this squad. So Manoa, boom, perfectly slots in there. Look at that beautiful team. Corbin Martin, McCarthy, I signed last year. He just sat in the minors. We're going to rock with him. Oh, Karen check. He's got to go too. 
Totally forgot about that. Ha. Huh. Who? Relievers, man. Relievers are tough. Relievers are tough. Relievers are tough. Um. I don't. I don't really know, to be honest. Is Reyes doing well? He only pitched 22 innings last season. Can't even get him. Can't get Karen Chak for Reyes straight. Really? Oh, that's not good. Um. That means I'm not going to really be able to get, like, anybody. Um, holy cow, I can't get... I, I really can't get anybody. Can I get Tyler Duffy? I don't even know if I want Tyler Duffy, to be honest. I don't. Matt Cronin, maybe? Is he good? Dude, Karen Jack has, like, no value, but he is... I mean, it makes sense. He's been absolutely just abysmal. He's been so bad. Um, I don't... I don't think I'm gonna use Zach Thompson, so if I really have to like package two guys, I, I guess that's what's gonna have to happen because I, I need bullpen help. I think that's part of the reason why we've been so bad. It's just our bullpen's been garbage. So, or certain players have been a letdown. We'll put it that way. So Stashik, 29, hasn't really pitched much. I think could be good. Can I just, can I do that? And then instead I give you somebody else like, Andy Pages. Wow, they want a lot. Holy cow. Uh, I'll give you that. All right, Stashik's in the team. Not ideal. I brought in Kittredge for 4 mil. A lot of money, to be honest, but he's an 80 overall. Probably not going to hold that rating, but we'll see how it goes. And then that's the team. That's the team. We are on a little bit of a budget crisis. I'm not going to lie. I did spend a little bit of too much money. A little bit of too much money. I spent too much money. I'll, I'll just I'll be straightforward. I spent way too much money this offseason because I brought in Devers. <laughs> and I extended a lot of contracts because I forgot a lot of them expired this year. Moncada. <laughs> we've got Adamas. We've got John Means. And then we've got Syndergaard. Yeah. Um, a lot of money was spent this offseason. And if you look at our budget right now... I mean, we've only got like this year and next year left over, so it's not like it's the biggest of worries, but it's still like, yikes, we might not have a lot of money to work with. So we're ranked third, apparently. I don't know who's ranked first, but good for them. We're coming for the title. I need to win a World Series. 101 and 61. All right, doing well. We've got a crazy good pitching staff. We've got Moncada leading the league in walks. We go to the awards. We've got a Cy Young and a Rookie of the Year. Devers in the mix for MVP. Julio Rodriguez won it on the other side. Is this his second year? Woo! He's killing it. DeGrom and Garrett Cole. We also had Alec Manoa there. Batting title Marte and Freeman. So the, the veterans coming up and uh, doing some damage. Showing them they still got they still got some in their in their uh in their uh still got some in the tank. There that's the word I'm looking for. Holy cow, they sent down Kittredge. What did he do? Oh seven ratings he went down. I know he's got C potential, but dang, they killed him. Uh Corbin Martin struggled. So between these two, I'm probably gonna trade him. <laughs> Just get a really good long reliever. McCarthy was fantastic, Stashik was gross. Um, and by gross, I mean just why are you on my team? Sledgers was really good. We've got Holder who was very good. Barnes who was fantastic. And that's our bullpen. Next up, Garrett Cole. Unbelievable, right? S same thing with Noah. Uh, John Means. Like, look at that pitching staff. That is, that is beautiful. That is what you want from your rotation. You look at this. Who got sent down? Steven Davis? Yeah, okay. Okay, Michael Bass got sent down too. Even though he was nutty. Wow, he was good. Who did they call up instead? Jeremy De La Rosa? Why would you do that? No, 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 no. Get this guy back on the team. Holy cow. Oh, Jeffers got sent down. That's fine. Whatever. Call up the other guy. But hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Get, get out. Michael Bass is the man. Where is he? Put him in the DH spot. He clearly deserves that. Wow, he was good. Jeez. All right, let's take a look at our team. Bench, Telez, not as good as last year. Uh, Cronenworth was meh. Terang, Pineda, and then to the pitchers. We look at our starters. Pretty good season from Cattell Marte, I would say. Uh, Moncada was really good once again. I have to get Moncada in like every rebuild going forward. He's insane. Same thing with Yelich. Franville still putting up crazy good numbers. Devers. Ooh. 
I mean, look at how are we not just running? What, hold on, how did he win rookie of the year and not him? I mean, they have bats. Okay, they have bats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand why. I understand why. I, 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 I see. I see why he won. All right, taking on the Diamondbacks, who are actually a really good team this year, 92 and 70. So this is probably another elimination first round. I'm, t I'm telling you, it's it's just it's just an elimination first round. Every I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I, I... <sighs> like, you're telling me Garrett Cole's going to get my, my, my closer allowed eight runs in the ninth inning. I, I don't think you can make this stuff up anymore. Like, there's what... I, I, 0 for 4, dude. I'm not even going to try a fifth season. Just, I, I can't, I, I can't win a World Series if my life depended on it right now. It is unbelievable. Like, and I'm not like blaming the game. I'm not, I'm not like, oh man, this is stupid. This game's terrible. This is the worst thing ever. I just, I, the luck is not on my side right now. Like, this is just. I, I think I have to somehow I think I have to be the wild card team. I think that's what it is. I can't face the wild card team. Maybe I need to be the wild card team. Something needs to change because I am on a cold streak. Wow, this is bad. This is tough. I failed the Derek Jeter challenge. I failed the Yogi Berra challenge. Man, this is not going well right now. But I hope you did enjoy the video. I mean, let's let's just take a look at the team again because look at look at this squad. Okay, I can see the bottom of the lineup, or a couple players did poorly, but, like, look at this team. Look at it. And then you look at our pitching staff. How are we not winning? What are we doing? Like, Garrett Cole was fantastic in 16 innings. Our starters were fantastic. Was our bullpen bad? Stashik was bad. But why are they going with Stashik? Just because he's higher rated? Holder was bad. Barnes was bad. Yeah, like, what... What is going on? Because, like, I'll even... Can I show you my coaches? I can't show you my coaches. That's annoying. I even have really good coaches, too. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I might have to do some experiments behind the scenes or something. But, <laughs> that was terrible. But, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you at least enjoyed the team that we came up with. But, unfortunately, I failed the Derek Jeter Challenge. The four World Series in five years. Dang. That's it like it if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content and of course in the comment section if you got any more challenges for me let me know i'll catch you in the next one peace